fuck up. I'd rather hear you talk about how good I am in Overwatch. I'm 39 and Asian. I can spot a trans person a mile away. Top 10 trans names. I should have been Goku. F Drop your pants. They're just dropping themselves up. Trans men are just such a beautiful creature. Come that time the month, they know how to handle it. What it's like to be a woman. Exactly, they can <gasps> relate with women. If I were to give some honest feedback on this, this is coming. Go check out my podcast, Tea Party Podcast. There's trans people, and we call ourselves fanboy, fanboys or whatever, because it's fun, it's quirky, who cares, right? But it's also a brand new podcast that looks like it came out two weeks ago. This is episode one called the Tea Girls Podcast Episode One. Do you guys want to check it out? They're copying us. They're copying us! But they're not. They can do whatever they want. We can use that for like a YouTube video. They're copying us! But they're not. They're doing their own thing. Let's see what they're talking about. They're not zero trans into today's stream because of the fanboy podcast. Lol. Hi everyone, welcome to this new podcast series where we're going to be talking about trans experiences. And I'm also going to be interviewing a lot of trans people along the way and hearing their stories. She's like about me. Coming out and little tips and tricks as well along the way. This is my partner. Her name's Charlotte. Well, Nana, you passed so really well. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'd rather hear you talk about how good I am in Overwatch. Go on. Tell me I'm top 500. We have alpha underscore OW. I will own you. All right. So they're going to be talking about the trans experience podcast. Like, like emotions and stuff. That's very cool. I preferably like my podcasts to be like goofy and like maybe some serious stuff in it. But like entertaining, like in terms of comedy. Yo ass in top 500. I think again. When your trans experience began and what your life was like growing up. So I'm Charlotte, and she calls me Lockie, and nobody else calls me Lockie. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 34 now. Yeah, she's very old. So I'm not that old. <laughs> she's, she's 34? She's 30. She looks great. If she's 34, she's great. I'm 39 and Asian. Yeah, like I kind of figured out that I was different around four. Now, that was 1994, so there was no internet. that. There was no nothing. Like, that just didn't even exist. If I were to give some honest feedback on this, this is coming from a perspective where I've heard this a billion times, where it's like the narrative. Like, I was a kid. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know what was going on. So growing up, I was weird and everything was different and all of that. I'm not actually 39. I'm not actually 39. Wow. <laughs> For me, I've already heard this topic. I've already lived this topic. You know, this was like 10 years ago, 20 years ago. I've been there, done that. Never been there. And for, in some cases that might be, but no. in both mine and Charlotte's and so many other trans people that we know, they, they've had a very different experience where as far back as they remember, their life, like they felt very different and haven't fitted in as the gender assigned to birth. Yeah. For yeah. I'm only skipping just because I lived this. I already have experienced this. I've already talked about this a billion times. You grow up and you're just like, everything is weird. It's probably what it's like to be a gamer too. Wow, everybody thinks I'm a nerd. Or if you like anime and you're a kid. I don't think I've ever met. It's half the time like, they don't even care. <laughs> like, they're like, oh, you're such a snowflake. It's like, no, I, I don't really care. Yeah, like, respect, like, give some respect. Like, you, you gotta give that basic level of respect, haven't you, to everyone. But as soon as you start, like, yeah, guys. getting triggered because I'm existing just the way I wanted to exist. And that's when we're going to wrap up. Yeah, just mind your own business. Back to this topic. Just mind your own business, you know? If you're, like, an Overwatch gamer and somebody's playing, like, a lesser game that makes you a worse human being, Wiggle Legends, Valorant, that's their decision and not yours. You know what I mean? Let them ruin their life playing a horrible video game when you could be playing all the good stuff for yourself. Yeah! <laughs> it's so random. Yeah, for sure. Like, like here's, here's a really stupid example of it. I commented on a video once on TikTok and the amount of the people who come after yeah. me with hate because I have a trans flag in my username. And it's like, I wasn't... I no, it's not because you have a trans flag in your username. It's more like because it's like the stereotype. If a person has a trans flag anywhere in their bio... And first of all, why do I care that you have a trans flag? I shouldn't care that you have a trans flag, but I'm going to assume that you're like SJW, you probably have dyed hair, you're very smug, and you're like, it's all these like stereotypes. If you put any flag, everybody's going to assume the stereotypes. Yeah, like that's, yeah. that's the really big thing though, is so many people expect us to just be walking around with a trans flag everywhere and they're like, I can spot a trans person a mile away. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, it, it was some video, like some long forgotten biojet, and I just come to be like, oh yeah, it's called a biojet. Not realizing that the name's in the video, but do you mind people who come along and be like trying to like dead name me with random names that they picked out because my name's Charlotte? They're like, yeah. oh yeah, your dead name must be this. I get that all the time, like people coming onto my coming onto my like videos and stuff, and they're like, oh, it's buzzy tag is way better than trans flag. No, that just means you're a gooner. That's an easy way to tell people that you're a gooner. Putting any sort of identification is cringe. 
unless it's like you're number one at this esports and it's no longer cringe or like you put like i'm a farmer then it's no longer cringe but if you do like a political or gender thing then it's like oh that's cringe Elliot. Yeah, Elliot. The name is Elliot. Yeah. And it's like, how do you think we pick our names? Because <laughs> for me personally, I always had the names in my head. And whenever I played games and stuff, and I could select my character and do all that customization and stuff, my name in games was always Emily. And then I ended up dating a girl. Top 10 trans names. Number one, Emily. Number two, Jade. Number four, Lily. Lily might be number one. Number five, Emily. I don't know if that was number one. Number six, Luna. Number seven, Claire. <laughs> All trans people pick the same name. Evelyn could be number 10. I feel you. Jen, I think Jen. Instead of Jennifer, Jen is really common. Emily is a nice name, but it's definitely really common. Common doesn't mean it's bad. I'm just saying top 10. Sarah, also, also. Chloe, that's also another one. You're going to pick up a courage name before you settle for a name? I should have been Goku. Fuck! I could have been something cool. Well, calls Emily. And then, <laughs> but then after breaking up with her, I was like, my name cannot be the same Samantha as my seems unique. I mean, so she's common. the next closest thing, which was Ellie. Samantha's different. Maybe because before transition, many of them have common male presenting names. Uh, that could be like, we just did like a variation. Like if your name is Juan, then maybe you pick Juanita. <laughs> Which that's is how, like one of the most common trans names to exist. It, turn, it turns <laughs> out, yeah. I didn't know any of that before I actually transitioned. And, but that's like, interesting. I never had a name picked out. No. It never really occurred to me. And that's why I I've already, I've already listened to this a billion times. Like, I lived through this. Drop your pants. <laughs> like, that would be, surely that would be weirder. And, like, that's only going to work for a certain amount of people. Like, I've had surgery. So Are they British? Really that obvious. The other part of this is you open yourself up to so much more by forcing... They're British. Right? By forcing trans women into the men's bathroom and trans men into the women's bathroom. It could be, like, from Ireland. It's Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said that. Boom! <laughs> You were opening yourself up to men. That's a whole big kind of way. Yeah, like, like men can go up and go, oh no, I'm a trans man, I was born a woman. Yeah. And like, like, like trans men are so much more harder to tell. Yeah, it, like, testosterone does, like, rarely takes hold of trans men. Testosterone's OP. Yeah. Um, trans men. Very OP. They, they are beautiful. I'm, like, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, we need to, like, men, trans men compared to biological men. Like, it's not trans women you have to worry about, it's the trans men stealing your, stealing your girl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> trans men, are just such such a beautiful creature. Um, and they, they know what it's like to be a woman. Exactly, they can relate <gasps> with women. Imagine if we called trans women beautiful creatures, <laughs> but she did it the other way around. <laughs> um, like come that time in the month, they know how to handle it. Exactly, they they're, prob they're probably like, yeah, they're I've people. had the yeah, there you go, girl, I've to <laughs> Trans men, they probably have no, like, biological <laughs> men, I mean, probably have zero idea what to do in that situation. Okay. Or a lot of them. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to put it at normal speed, and we're just going to go towards the end. It seems like a good podcast. Like, if you're new to being trans, and you need, like, experiences, it's a good listen. But I've already lived through it. I've been there, done that a billion times. Give me the the juicy, controversial, unique stuff. Estrogen has an effect on the body. Yeah, for sure. Compared to estrogen, like I've I've lost muscle performance. I've lost stamina. Why would I want to join the Olympics with like I've I've lost all my bio, my biological advantage. Ooh, transports. Um, Here we go. And the fact that I've been through a puberty before I've been through this female puberty, that has nothing to do with it. Like no, absolutely not. Like. You know, I was never a very strong person. When I started my transition, I actually was dating a girl. And at the time, I was slightly stronger than her. Within a year, we were pretty evenly matched. And then towards the end, she was stronger than I am. <laughs> and like, like she, it's not like she worked out or anything. She went for wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, go to a fucking gym. Don't be a slob. Go to a gym, you weirdo. Be good for your body. Be hot. Be the hot body. Oh, but it's so hard. You know what? What's the say? Hold on. Anything worth having isn't easy to get or whatever the phrase is. You know what I'm saying? If something is worth it, it takes effort. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll go again. No, 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 no. If you already went once, I already went once. You don't have to go again. Just scare me though. Then home gym it. I did home gyms for a long time. It's easy. Somebody gave me a bench and I use that bench exclusively for the gym stuff and for makeup stuff. But like you just get like some weights and you get an app. We have the internet. The internet will tell you anything that you want. Runs and that was about it. I also hate the, the argument where it's like, oh, I'm really weak and really bad. 
So we should let everyone that's like me be in these sports. Like that's a, that's like a really really weird thing. Like you're not the metric. Like each person is an individual person. You're not the same as everybody else. Your experience is going to be unique to you. We're not all the same. Some of us are stronger than other people. I could kick your butt. But she was able to have the power. Like I've I've had I've had like arm wrestles and stuff with people, and I, I really really struggle. They're just jerking jerking themselves off, being like, "I was so weak." Even when I was dating this person, I was weak. I we get it. Me, I'm strong. I might have horrible cardio, but I'm working on it. Maybe I do two and a half pounds on my my triceps or whatever this is underarm. I don't care. I'm working on it, and I'm strong. Uh, with arm wrestles these days um, I, I, and we haven't found anyone she can beat yet <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to out me like that <laughs> come on Maybe. it's like that one tiktok where this girl's in her 30s she's really hot she's skinny she has a nice butt she has like a good waist but she's in her 30s and she has type something diabetes and the reason why she has diabetes is because she has zero muscles on her body because since she has no muscles, her body can't produce whatever it needs to be producing in order to function properly. You need your muscles to work. You don't have to be super strong, and you probably won't get super bulky or whatever. You know how hard it takes to get bulky? It's really hard. And then you also need the genetics for it. It doesn't just happen overnight. It doesn't just happen. So just do it. You should be on a workout plan where you yell and curse out people. <laughs> Your niece, you I'm might, happy. you might, yes. be your niece, but I think yeah, you I might know. Be <laughs> <for you. laughs> yes, it is easier, but you're not going to get ripped out of nowhere. I enjoyed this podcast. Um, is it ten a- out of ten? Yeah, it's a nice podcast. It's a very um surface like beginner podcast for like trans stuff. It's very you know surface level for me. It doesn't make sense for me to listen to this podcast. I would love to have them as a guest. I'm sure. I could get the the juicy stuff out. There's another one. Is that the same person? That's cool. Yeah, these are stories. It's a pretty good podcast. 10 out of 10. On 708, 2025, Mr. Beast will descend upon you while you are sleeping. Cool.